what's up guys, John here and welcome to part 3 of our adventures in St. Lucia. In the last video we stayed on a real working cocoa plantation, we did some hiking, sea kayaking, and rode horses on the beach. This week I'm going to show you one of the best resorts on the entire island. Towards the southern part of the island, there's this really unique resort called Ladera. The resort has only 37 rooms, and it's the only resort that's located on a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we just arrived at probably the nicest place I've ever stayed. I honestly just don't know what to say. It is so beautiful here. I'm going to give you guys a room tour so you're going to get to see everything. There are a lot of beautiful resorts on the island, but the most notable thing about Ladera is that each room has an open wall. That's right, the front wall of every room is completely open, so you have a private pool, an open wall, and spectacular views of the pitons. This place is incredible. Like, it's so awesome that we just don't even want to leave. We even have a butler service, which I really didn't expect. They gave us this cool phone that apparently works anywhere on the island. We just push a button and it connects us directly to the butler. This is like way too fancy for me. <laughs> so we're gonna have some lunch now and then we're gonna go and visit the volcano. Nearby Ladera, there's a place called Sulphur Springs, and it's the site of an active volcano. It's basically like a natural spa, so you can take a dip in the hot spring water that's heated from the volcano, and you can rub your skin with the volcanic mud that's said to contain minerals that make you look 10 years younger. Basically like rubbing rocks on my face. Woohoo! It was fun. I mean, it's always fun to get dirty and I haven't done a mud run in a while. I don't know if it took 10 years off, but it was really soothing. got up the next day and we wanted to just have a nice chill day to enjoy the resort. A lot of times when we go on these trips we're rushing around trying to do all these activities and see so many places. So for this particular day we just wanted something that was a little bit different and slower paced. We visited Sugar Beach, which is the beach that you guys saw in the view from the hike in our last video. And like you'd expect, it had powdery white sand and crystal clear blue water, so it was a great place to spend a relaxing afternoon. Well, the sun just went down. I usually don't start vlogging at the end of the day, but today has been a really nice chill day. We just came from the beach and we're still just so in awe of how beautiful and amazing everything is. The view was just incredible. Like it doesn't even seem real. It seems like something out of a movie. It's, it's amazing. Now, whenever I'm traveling, I don't always stay in the fanciest resorts. I've been lucky enough to stay in a small handful, but the one thing I can say about Ladera is that the service there is top notch. Anytime you need anything, the staff is on top of it. They're like, oh yeah, we already took care of it. We already did that for you. The service is incredible. So if you're in St. Lucia and you want a place that not only has amazing views and a very unique accommodation, but also has incredible service, 
Madeira is definitely the place to go. I love going to the Caribbean and St. Lucia in particular is somewhere we've wanted to go for years. So it was awesome actually getting to go there and see the place that we saw in that magazine years ago. The weather is beautiful, we had a nice mix of adventure and some downtime, and it's definitely an island I want to visit again. I hope you enjoyed this video, hit the like button if you did, and I know I always say this but I've got a lot of exciting stuff planned for 2018. Leave a comment down below letting me know some of your plans for 2018, where you plan to travel, maybe New Year's resolutions if that's even still a thing at this point, point. and I'll see you very soon with another new adventure.